think I've heard enough of your opinions, miss. Is that so? Yeah. Now make yourself useful in the first part. It's not driving me insane with your constant complaining. Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down or you're gonna be missing a hand. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! <sighs> well, come with me, then. You wanna head out there? Run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. Never gonna get there at this place. You cool down then yet? I guess. Now, I ain't no skull yet, and I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. Huh. Where's that letter? Are uh, you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. <clears throat> Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells them to start expecting mail from a Tassis Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you- No, you insane. I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy us some food to eat. And no guns. You sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting.
Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. I'm trying. Try harder. My brother Jake got locked up to fight again. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. I get that. Yeah. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I said. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know. I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you... Uh, you know... Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Hey there! Hey. What, uh, what you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in the Morn Raider country. Keep it cool. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Go, go, go! go. Shit! Let's get the hell out of here! Go! You're dead! Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Hey, you want me to drive? We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But... Maybe not. 
So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? We're stuck. What now? Anyway, don't you go ribbon piercing about that letter. Can't you go any faster? How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have trouble while making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of bottles. Not a chance. Hey, watch it! Sadler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... Uh, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. Evening, Arthur. Evening. Well, here we are, Tilly. Moved again. That's the way it goes. Oh, Arthur, it is good to see you. You okay, Maybeth? Just great, but I nearly got killed back in town. They caught me robbing from a store, and I ran for my life. You weren't followed here. Arthur Morgan, of course not. Who do you think you're speaking to? Good girl. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> Fine. It's funny, us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. You know, a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that. Come on. It looks to be a nice day ahead. Hosea knows a good fishing spot. Do we leave now? Well, we'll catch the early biters. Come on. What's the matter, Arthur? Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good along, old Dutch. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble burst a few. Come on, Jose. Let's go. All right, gentlemen, let me show you how it's done. Yeah. Why don't we 
just fish here. There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Drug in. Well, well, look who it is. Bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train! Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry up! All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanting for? Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Goddamn cowards hide behind that man! What? Idiot! Now get after the others, come on! The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. Yeah. Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Hey, why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Uh, uh, you come past us and do nothing. Uh, uh, damn you! The 
I think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Got the help talking about that boy you got killed. Okay, this way. Hey, fellas. I'm certainly not surprised. 
Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, and falling out of rebel gold, and marrying cousins, or not marrying... Arthur, that's... Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these great weights. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Uh... I'll need to relax someplace. Fair enough. It looks like it's you and me, old man. Has anyone seen an Englishman called Gavin? Yeah. You stay off our land, goddamn! You son of a Get back here! Back to the Holy coward! Goddamn Frenchwings! Speaking about here!
This here the gray plantation? Yep. Calig hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Damn it, Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Let's go, boy. see you at the sheriff's office excuse me friend we friends not yet but he is hoping I guess we don't get a lot of traveling men here and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place is there what are you doing here I was just looking for work well, looking for something don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. So long, and good luck. Let's get it. Yep.
Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And... A gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? Well, yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. <laughs> but if they find out... They'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are... are... There's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. Uh, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure.